is finally the graduation vlog you guys i cannot put into words how excited i am as you can see from my big smile i am elated i've been waiting for this day for around two weeks now since our final grades and our final presentation marks and everything was out i've been waiting for it every single day as soon as i get i'm like okay one more week to go two more weeks to go or you know like five more days to go i'm all over the place right now because i'm so excited anyways welcome back to my channel i hope all of you are doing really well and are super excited for this vlog just like me so actually today is not the graduation it is tomorrow in the morning so i decided to start the vlog today itself because tomorrow i do not know how much i'm going to be able to vlog since i'm getting up pretty early in the morning and i'll be busy getting ready so i might forget to switch on the camera or film everything for you guys so today was the best day i can show you guys everything i have enough time and yeah that is the update for now right now i'm just going to do my nails i am stuck between two colors i do not know which one to wear this brown shade this like pinkish brown shade so i am leaning more towards this color because my dress is orange like bright orange so maybe this will look better but then the brown is neutral so i i do not know exactly which one i'm going to wear and then maybe after finishing this later in the day before going to sleep i might do a face back as well so i'll show you guys that and yeah the prep will be done i've already taken a shower and done styling my hair and everything so yeah that is it for now and i will also show you guys my outfit and the bag and the shoes and everything once i'm done with the nail polish so i thought i'll show you guys my dress first because once i apply my nail polish i'll have to wait for it to dry for a while and then the sun will go down so i won't have light to show you guys anyways here is the dress it is the orange dress of my dreams you guys i absolutely love this dress i put it on honestly in the beginning when my mother told me like rochelle you better try this dress on i was a little skeptical i was like mm, maybe not that style because i've never worn this kind of dress before and so i was like okay fine i'll wear it because whenever my mother tells me this dress looks good i always i'm like oh no and then when i wear it i fall in love with it so i obviously went ahead with her opinion and i love the dress it is a longer dress it doesn't go all the way to my feet but it is like slightly above my ankle you could say you guys will see it when i wear the dress tomorrow i don't know why i'm trying to explain it to you on a hanger and then for the shoes let me just take it out of the box these are the shoes that i'm wearing they're very simple almost nude shoes because i don't want something too colorful or bright because my dress is bright enough and then it is a simple heel not too um high or anything because i'm scared i'll trip and fall <laughs> on the stage so i don't want any of that to happen and it's kind of like a strappy shoe so it goes all around your ankles uh with this like shiny i don't know what to call this actually shiny embroidery not embroidery i'm not getting the word right now i'll put it up on screen when i finally realize what it is so yeah these are the shoes and the bag i can't find my bag right now actually i'll show you guys tomorrow i've gone and kept it somewhere in the cupboard so tomorrow obviously when i find it i will show you guys anyways this is the outfit that i'm going to wear and i still don't know what i'm going to do with my hair because the cap kind of comes all the way down to the middle of my eyebrows it's like a v shape i'll show you guys i have it with me right now see it comes like that it has like a v so i still do not know how i'm going to style my hair i need to now sit down with my mother and kind of figure out how to keep this hat on my head because hat the cap um it kind of like just slips off my hair since most of them are arabs and they have their hijab it kind of stays on their head i was talking to my friend maryam that day when we were trying to put it on for the photo shoot she was like maybe it's because your hair is there and we don't have hair because their hijab is coming so it kind of gives them a little bit of a grip and yeah so i need to figure that out anyways that is it for now i showed you guys everything that i'm going to wear and i will go paint my nails now and if i do anything else i'll show you guys morning you guys i hope all of you are having a lovely morning 
I still cannot believe that graduation day is finally here. Last night, you guys, I could not sleep whatsoever. I had these butterflies in my stomach and yeah, the whole night I was like tossing and turning. I'm a bag full of nerves right now. <laughs> Anyways, I will show you guys my outfit and I found the bag. Yesterday, I asked my mother where it was and she knew exactly <laughs> where it was. So I found that, thank God. I thought early in the morning I would have to like search for that, but no, that's not the case. And it is currently 8.30. We need to be there by around 9.30, 10. And the event starts at 10.30, like I mentioned earlier. So we're good on time right now. Hopefully there's no traffic on the way and today is a holiday anyway so I think it'll be free flowing. I will show you guys my outfit, the cap, the gown, the whole get up. So this is my outfit you guys. It is a beautiful mermaid dress. I hope you can see it. It does not go all the way to my ankles like I said. It's a little bit shorter because I did not want to wear a gown in over a gown. It would have been too much for me. So here is a beautiful dress i absolutely love it and it's kind of like this net pattern it's beautiful you guys and i chose this color because our department like the college of design our sash is orange so i wanted to match to that orange color so it's not exactly that shade it's like more towards the reddish orange but i love it anyways and i also did my nails so here are the nails i went completely off to what I showed you guys yesterday, it was one was the brown and one was the brownish pink. I spoke to my mother and she was like, why don't you wear orange rain polish because of your whole, you know, the orange color for the college. So I was like, fine, I'll try it out. So I applied a matte finish orange color and then on top of that I put this sparkly kind of clear nail polish and it turned out so good. I wouldn't wear this normally on any other day but because... I wanted to kind of match everything, I wore it and it turned out well so I'm happy and I can't show you guys my shoes right now, maybe I'll get a video of it later on. So now I will show you how I look in the cap and gown and I decided to completely tie my hair up because yeah, if I put any other hairstyle it's just going to slide off and I do not want that to happen on stage so I'm just going to tie it up. I almost forgot to show you guys the bag yet again. So here is the bag. It is a nice sparkly golden bag with this golden chain. Everything is golden so it kind of matches my uh, gown, the gold on the gown. And actually we are not supposed to carry anything in our hands while we walk up on stage. So I'm going to wear this on top of my dress and then put the gown so it's like hidden so I can keep my like lipstick and the touch up stuff and then my phone as well because we can't have our phone in our hands and you can't leave it on the seat so that is what I came up with to like just put the bag in and nobody's gonna see it so now I'll show you guys the gown and the cap this is how I've decided to style my hair it's just in a simple low bun so when I put my cap on it stays and it doesn't slide off completely and this I hope it's in the center yes it is and this is the official get up I have to put this um, what is this? the tassel on this side because I'm not graduated yet so yeah this is the whole outfit you guys it's so nice and flowy it still feels so surreal that this is actually happening I don't know I'm just like yeah i'm not going to talk anything more about it because i'm starting to get more nervous and nervous anyways i'll explain everything about the gown itself so this orange part the sash is the color that represents our college so college of design has orange and then if you're an undergrad you have two of these golden lines and if you're getting your masters it is three lines so that's how we differentiate and this is the back of the gown. I hope you guys can see it. I myself haven't seen the back of the gown yet. So I'm going to watch this video back and see how it looks. So yeah, this is the official outfit. And I am ready to leave in a while now. We just will leave in like I think 5 minutes. And yeah, when we reach the arena or when I sit in the car and I adjust everything, I will see you guys. I'm already sweating in this this is so like thick so hopefully we don't sweat too much in the arena obviously not too much yeah 
Anyways, I'm going to stop blabbering now. I will see you guys. Later. How do you feel? My head is aching <laughs> right now <laughs> because I was looking down at the phone mm. and I have motion sickness. Okay. So yeah, I'm like trying not to talk too much. Hey guys, I am in the car right now. We are almost reaching the venue and I am so excited. <laughs> I have a bag full of nerves. I can actually see the arena from here. I I do not know. I I'm all over the place right now. Mainly very excited, obviously. <laughs> so when I reach there, I will show you guys the venue and everything. Today, as we stand on the precipice of our future, we are concluding the chapter of our lives. We're leaving the classes, the corridors, and our lovely campus. But we will always remember that we are AUE ambassadors and will always carry with us the warm memory that we have in our hearts. Graduates, parents, friends, family members, and loved ones, the moment you've been waiting for has arrived. It is an honor to invite His Excellency Sheikh Nhayyan Mubarak Al Nhayyan, Major Dr. Ahmed Al Raisi, and the Honorable President of AUE to confer the Master's and Bachelor degrees to Class of 2023. Graphic Design, Michelle Jacinta. Graduates, you may now move your tassels to the left. You are hereby officially declared as graduate of the American University in the address. just got out of the arena and I took off all the cap and gown and everything because it was so hot. Anyways, I am officially a graduate. It still feels so... <laughs> Thank you. It still feels like it never happened. I don't know how to feel still. This is all I'm telling in this whole video. I think only after a few days it'll like hit me that I'm actually done with university. After four years, it is done with. <laughs> So I'm back home now. I know in the car I took off everything and I was sitting there because it was so hot. We were taking pictures outside and all of us were sweating. It was not that hot because there was a slight wind but as soon as you go into the sunlight, forget it. So as I sat in the car, I took everything off and now we're home. So I put it back on because there are a little bit, there's a little bit of additions to the whole outfit. So I will explain that to you guys now. If you can see, I am officially a graduate. My tassel is on the left. It feels amazing, you guys. I am slowly starting to realize like, yes, I'm a graduate, I'm a graduate. So yeah, and this rope that you can see here, it goes all the way down till I think my thighs. And this is the rope for the highest honor that you can get. So according to the Latin, I think, honors, there is cum laude, and there is magna cum laude and then there is summa cum laude so summa cum laude is the highest uh, honor that you can get and that's what i'm wearing you guys i it, it feels amazing after all that hard work four years of hard work and getting the best grades that i could get and finally i graduate i am so happy 
I would like to thank my parents for supporting me throughout this whole journey. They are the ones that got me through this, you guys. Without them, I would be nowhere. And of course, my professors for always supporting me throughout the whole, all the semesters, giving us new information every single day. Like, I am so grateful for everything. I'm full, filled with gratitude right now. And I'm starting to get a lump in my throat. But I'm not going to cry. Today is a happy day. Anyways, this is the full thing. I feel like this is one of the last times I'm going to wear it. Maybe like a month later, I'll be like, okay, let me wear this again. <laughs> so yeah, I am officially a graduate. And for now, the plan is that we are going to stay home for a while. We'll eat lunch at home and then we'll celebrate for dinner. Dada has made reservations at some restaurant. I don't know which one. I haven't spoken to him about it. Dada as in my father. <laughs> I keep forgetting to say father and mother. I'm sorry about that, you guys. Anyway, so once we make the plan final, I will let you guys know what's next. Hey guys, it is evening time now. All of us, the whole family, we took a nice nap in the afternoon because we were so tired from graduation. We got up pretty early, so it was nice to have a little bit of rest. And now we all have gotten fresh and we are going for dinner. And the plan is that we are going to a restaurant called Hitchki. Now my father has been raving about this restaurant for quite some time now. He had gone out with his friends once and he was like, the food is amazing, the food is Instagrammable, so you will love it. He told me that. So I was like, yes, we are definitely going there now because it's a day to celebrate. So that is the plan and that is it for now. I'm already ready. I changed my lipstick, as you guys can see. I didn't want to go out with that bright red lipstick in the mall because that's kind of like for stage makeup and because there were so many lights there red kind of looks nice but now in in the mall i didn't want to do that so i changed it to like a pinkish orange so i'm a little more comfortable with that now anyways once we reach the place i think it's in mirdiv so once we reach mirdiv i will show you guys <laughs>